Hi. Hello, lovely. You look good in that. Oh, I made that. Sorry. I do look good. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel and normally I would have mommy sitting beside me and saying you know we are here with mommy today so I already know say it's another story time with mommy but I have no idea what happened um, we recorded some clips on my camera and I don't know if I do or what but none of those clips can be found on the camera um i used two separate sim cards uh, memory cards sorry not sim cards and none out of the two can be found so all of the introduction and stuff all of that is gone um but luckily i have another clip that i ended up taking with my phone so you're going to see mommy later on but basically what we were saying was that in today's story time um nikki will be the person you know telling the story for the most part because this was you know they're going a bit back in time this was before the 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 houseboat sank and stuff like that it's just like some small snippets of some stories that happened that mommy didn't really um, remember so she was talking to my brother and he remembered them so we are going to have him tell his side of those stories and then we have a little snippet of mommy saying her part to the stories that he was telling so that is the the, the setup of the story time today so it's mainly going to be Nikki talking and at the end you will see mommy as well but if you're interested in seeing what Nikki has to tell you, you know, in my drama, my narrative, then please keep on watching. Oh, anyway, hi guys. How you all doing? I'm going to give you some stories of what was, what mommy forget to mention that happened in the past as well. A story would be the time the marina nearly burned down. I was there, Drew was there, the staff was there basically. So we had two chefs there, cause I think one chef them there, three and one I chef them. So what happened, one of the pot them they have oil and the oil catch a fire and the chef what they had learned, run go take one pot of water and chew up on the hot oil that was burning basically. So, boom! Big explosion. So the whole fire blazed up the place and you know the marina was made mostly out of wood and bamboo. I know bamboo is very flammable so the place will start blaze up. Uh, one of the chefs them they get burned on her legs. She was a female. She get run on her legs um the other one jump off in her water and run gone basically I had no idea what happened to him after i don't even remember seeing him there again um i i wasn't over there at that moment i was probably on the houseboat or so but then realized i'm run over then we turn off the gasoline and then we had two two big huge gasoline that's at the back of the kitchen so we turn them off and throw them into the water so you stay away from the so who knows explosion maybe could happen throw them off into the water and then throw them off in the water after the two cylinder them and bring them into land i was totally wet because my dive off so that was actually good for me because when we go back up now we try extinguish the fire in the kitchen which i was basically soaking wet so Either for me. Drew was there as I said. Him running, trying to be the hero and burn up himself basically. Him run goes straight into the flames basically. So the whole life fears, everything, the heat, those 
burn him up basically. Um, so we did that try out the fire still with bucket of water and hose and whatever till eventually the fire brigade come and them actually get the fire out. Luckily it was only inside the kitchen that was damaged by the fire not the entire marina. So that was good. All of the kitchen they have to close on for a while for repairs and stuff. Yeah, the kitchen basically is burned up. As I said, the lady chef, she got burns on her feet, her leg. Uh, I guess when they throw the water upon the oil, they splash up on her, on her leg and stuff. So, yeah, so she was out for a while too. That wasn't good. If um, Drew now, yeah, it's even basically the whole of face burned up and stuff. So, when we have this the doctor they come down and check and stuff so basically enough ice put on your face and stuff well the funny, funny thing when I get enough of the juice story them already and him attitude and attitude to whites sometime as well to my mom and whatever so actually because him the skin they burn up and stuff it is start peel off basically so you know when his skin peel off underneath it to white so um, then basically it's probably terrible if you do it still but because in burn up but then start mocking basically and say oh look you're actually white under all of your black skin yeah I mean I always cost yeah, I don't want to be white I'm just black and <laughs> it was just funny so then just mocking with that all the while see see you're actually white under your black skin so yeah that was kind of funny for me yeah I took that in ah. uh, we eventually get the kitchen repaired again so that was running but that was one story that she forgot to mention maybe she going puts mention it now in this vlog or story time not sure so guys this is the part where mommy was telling her side of the story but I lost the beginning of the footage so i'm just here to fill you in so basically she was just saying that she was on her way to the supermarket and then somebody stopped her and said sabina sabina um your restaurant uh, the marina bonong and she's like what and she's like huh and then you know she was like because we were in the center of the town and where she was heading the supermarket wasn't far from the marina either so she like looked up in, in the sky to see if there was any smoke or anything. And she said she didn't see any smoke. But the, the way how the guy was going on, you know, it scared her enough for her to say, okay, let me just go back and see what's happening. And she basically got there, still couldn't see anything. And she's like, oh, huh, what the guy talking about? Anyway, she approached the marina closer and closer. And then she realized that her kitchen was in completely black like black from top to bottom there were pots in the 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 kitchen um on the kitchen floor in water like floating about and stuff like that because you know apparently the they managed to out the fire already so yeah um and then from here on out she continued her story saying that she asked for the chefs and you know trying to figure out what happened so i'm going to let her tell you the rest of the story so i was uh really saying to myself what the heck was going on here and then i asked about my my chef the the lady and they said oh she got burned on her feet on on her legs and and she went to the hospital or to a doctor or whatever so she was gone and then and 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 drew got burned as well and i was what and then at that time he was over on the houseboat and i went over and boy i mean seriously it was it was bad oh guys to to make sure that it is understood this is a story before, from before from before 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 the house was right, and, and everything. before drew was gone yeah i know like i said we kind of gather together some more stories that we remembered because of course when we are in the talking thing uh there have been so many stories and i guess we just 
couldn't put them in the same time frame. So this is before certain happenings. Mm -hmm. So I went on the houseboat and uh, I mean, he was like actually ready. He was burned here, he was burned here and here. And, and I mean, the pain, the pain was excruciating. So I, I just looked at him and I, I had some ointment, like burn ointment. I put it on his face. I gave him ice. Mm -hmm. Uh, we put ice in a in a bag and put something soft around the bag so he could hold it on his face forever. And but boy, he was suffering. I was really really sorry for him. Although I mean, well, <clears throat> so as things happen, uh, his face started to heal. He he was suffering good for two or three days. I mean, it was really. But and he re refused to go to a doctor or anything. He did not want to go to no doctor and no, and I'm not going and he, 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 he. and I said, all right, all right, all right. So I make sure I kind of cheated if I could even touch it because you know when you get burnt, it really you don't even want anything on it. Yeah. <clears throat> so the eyes did help a bit over the first night at least. So uh, things started to heal up and and well, um, Nikki told you already in his story, but it was really interesting to see that the skin that formed under the old or the burn part and that came off was actually extremely light color colored it was rosy so as he said already too we had i mean we were really nasty you know because we really were teasing him relentlessly i mean we were just um, oh look you're white underneath mm. so after all you're really a white man you know and he every time that's why we did it over and over every time he got mud out of his <laughs> i mean like hur, hur, i'm not so white man i'm not I'm not. so of course for us it was nothing nicer than to start all over again <laughs> we were really wicked in that respect but we had fun so with that story done, I mean, the, oh, our chef lady uh, had a big problem with the burns as well because she was diabetic. Mm. And yeah, they gave, I mean, they took a good while for her to heal. Yeah. So I was really, really heal. sorry. I mean, she was not really so much in pain, but of course it, it was, luckily it was not any deep burns or stuff, but still, I mean, it, it, I think some of them did get infected mm -hmm. and she had really a hard time to to get over that and same thing too she had her spots on her legs after you know for a long long time yeah. you know you could see those spots for a poof, good while i have some more stories too that she forgot really well Anna, maybe she don't really remember them i have the more vivid, vivid memory of it we had a yeah we mommy just said already so we used to always swim down in the marina and stuff Actually, Melody was coming with us in the water. I think she was probably two year old, one and a half, two year old. Basically, in the water with us at that age already. I'm not talking knee deep water, so you know, I'm talking like uh, 20, 20 feet deep water, so can't stand up or nothing. So, we actually had a rope between the marina and a dock. So between the marine and the dock there was a rope hanging always hanging down so we used to go swim and melody does hold up on the rope going back and forth back and forth pulling herself back and forth with as i said one and a half two year old that's how she basically in the deep water while everybody else swim go all about the place and she just did it back and forth on the rope without any safety whatever harness or anything nothing she she does in the deep water, holding on to the rope. Yeah, so yeah, she's been a swimmer since, or she loved the water. As we don't know already, she loved the water a long, long time. But there was one occasion where where we were actually swimming. Uh, I was swimming. Yasha wasn't there. I think Yasha was in Germany at that. Or I don't know where Yasha was. Her other brother was swimming and a friend was swimming. So three of us, well, four of us in all swimming. So I actually went and stopped swimming. I went uh, and I went to them and said, look at, um, 
Melody, she is still in the water with you guys. Just keep an eye on her. So I went in, took my shower, blah, blah. When we come out, back out of the houseboat and stuff, me and her are out there, cry. <laughs> she, and she hang on from the, the dock. And I, and I cry out and I cry out. So me end up run, go out there and pull her out of the water because I don't know how long she was there hanging on trying to get out. When we realized uh, the other two you the, the hard brother and the other friend run gone out to the front of the yard uh talk to some friends and, and forget her in the water. So yeah, that was not a good thing. Who knows what could have happened then? Cause as I, as I said, she probably was like at that time probably two, two and a half. So she her swimming capabilities weren't there as yet. So yeah, we just have to discipline the two boys in the time, you know, give them some company knee and stuff. You know, Jamaicans don't know what the conk is, you know. Give them some company knee and the elbow and make them go quiet one side and say so they'll never make that happen again. More problem. Nikki mentioned a story where she was in the water and, and hanging on for dear life or something. And I have a story like that too. At that time she was, I guess she was like around two-ish as well. And I was over in the restaurant part doing something. Actually, I was sitting down. I think I was doing some books or something. And 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 suddenly I hear somebody, Sabina! And I look up and, and, and one of our guys was standing on the, beside the houseboat on the dock and point to my side. Melody! Melody drop! Melody drop! And me jump up. Seriously, me jump up, run out, jump in the water, grab her. I think that girl was not even underwater for half a second. <laughs> As so fast we react. And then she was like, hey! <laughs> you know, like, it was, for it, it was just funny. funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, she was in the water again, right? For me, it was like heart attack, just avoid it, you know? And for her, it was like, hmm, you know? Again, again, again. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, it was so funny that mommy jumped after me and caught me, you know? <laughs> We're just playing yeah. around, right? So seriously, she that girl, she had her experience with water. We had a lot of people drop so in safe. the water over that. I, I had no choice but to learn to swim. Yeah. Oh no yeah, choice. oh yeah, definitely. That Never was, have no choice. I I wanted her to learn to swim <laughs> because my nerves wouldn't. No so mm -hmm. My heart attack was like waiting every time. So I, I was glad when she could swim. I actually only remember <coughs> one time where I think I was a bit older. I was like probably four or five and I don't know what happened but I was walking along the dock and somebody was rushing past me and like I don't know if I did, the, 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 rush. the rush wouldn't come with or the breeze would come off of them or what but I fell over into the water <laughs> and okay. I, I, don't yeah, I don't remember I don't them. remember who came and got me but somebody came and jumped after me but you could swim, uh, swim at the time uh, yeah you couldn't I don't think so at five you could swim must have been smaller then probably then three no when you were over five you could swim when, when did I learn to swim early no I can't tell but with five yeah, I said like three or five. yeah, or three or four. Yeah, yeah, that's more likely, five. but because five someone and him something. But I also <laughs> don't. Um, my my other brother, um, Don, he said he saved me once too. See? <laughs> so yeah. it coming like when I got through all life family my mother was like, <laughs> I'm testing one. each one of you guys. Did you save me too? Right? You saved me yet? No? Okay. <laughs> Let's get it done. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's cool. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. Ooh. What else happened? Yeah. Uh, this would be a story that something happened to me, actually. We did have... A, well, we didn't have it. As a, a sailboat was docked at the marina for good length, good good time. There was this guy on there, them call him Jesus because in white, he have long hair and in long beard going down and stuff. And they used to call him Jesus. And then they have a black cat on the, on the boat as well. And the, <laughs> the cat named Bumbo Clot. I don't know why, Bumbo Clot. That was the cat's name. So, 
Yeah, I, we went out sailing with them one time. It was probably a 30 foot sailboat. It was pretty small, not really that big. We went out sailing with him one time and it was me, Danai, him, Tim Jesus and an ex uh, guy went sailing. So we go all the way out to way out deep sea where it can barely say Jamaica anymore. As I said, it was a sailboat. So it had a, the sail was, the boats usually sail on the side basically. Yeah. So, and the sail was curved. So actually me, I went into the sail. I could lay down in the sail like a hammock. So I was in there, into the sail laying down and I actually fell asleep in the sail. They knew I was in there and everything, but I fell asleep in the sail. So we're sailing there. I don't know how long I was sleeping for. But then a sudden wind change came. So the sail was basically like this, slant, and the wind come from the other direction now. And push the sail. I was sleeping in the sail. It just basically pushed me. I went overboard. Threw me out into the sea. So it's a sailboat. A sailboat cannot stop same time. The sailboat just continues sailing basically. So they have to drop the sail. Sailboat sailing, continue sailing. Uh, I was in the water. Them said they see me on that side, then they see me over that side, and then see me way back there. I was scared as hell. Me, actually, we were fishing at that time as well. They, we had the fishing rods out. Me grab one of the fishing line them, and the fishing line was just running through me hand. So me eventually tied around my hand. In hindsight, me, I'm realizing that me grabbing that fishing line could have caused even more damage because suppose the hook they eventually come. But uh, it didn't happen, thank God maybe, I don't know. It just, I, it just wrap it around my hand, the fishing line, and was there. I could barely see the boat. It was probably, I don't know how far ahead, but they, them said so they couldn't really see me either because the waves are there as well. So I was on that side, that side, way out in the middle of the ocean basically. I was scared shitless. I, I don't know. I was, I was literally swimming. I was probably, I don't even know how old I was, probably 12, 12, 13. I was swimming and it, we just looked down into the water. Looking down, it's a, you just, I don't know, you just like you see shadows, so you're like, oh shit, shark, whatever, something is coming. It's like you're seeing the shadows of fishes, but probably there weren't any. I was scared. So, them eventually get the seal down from the boat, but the boat doesn't have an engine, so the, the boat just basically stopped, so I had to be swimming that air, swimming back to the boat because the boat can't really turn stop and because it would have to go all the way around if it turn. So I was there with the line around my hand. Eventually, the line even wrapped up around my foot. Swimming in, swimming in till eventually, then they have uh, one ring. Well, what do I call them? Safety ring? I don't even know. Rescue ring. And then tie one rope on it, must be one. 100 foot rope and then show it out and I couldn't even reach that. That was way in front of me still. We went in front of swim, swim, swim. Then, then Danai actually jump off into the water and swim towards me. So that was good. Respect. And yeah, basically, eventually we get to the safety ring and then I'm pull me in. Oh, that was, I remember that day. That was scary. That was a really scary time. So I just went up, I think my face, I don't even know what happened. That was us just sitting on the boat and said like, come, I'm ready to go home, I'm ready to go home. So yeah, but actually, <laughs> then I tell myself, when we end up grabbing on the fishing line, so the other guy who was on the boat as well, he grabbed the line, he grabbed, grabbed the rod and he's like, yeah, we have a fish too. Like, like, <laughs> nothing, nothing about fish. Like, oh. Uh, that was scary. Okay, 
yeah, that was that part of the story of me being thrown out at sea. Why else no I here? I don't know. 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 I don't know what else is coming. There was a robbery attempt. Well, robbery, stealing of the that time we uh, we were still on the houseboat. The houseboat didn't sink at that time yet either. I was in I think lower six or upper six, not even sure. But I remember I had a school trip the morning. We were supposed to go to UA University of the West Indies. And so I actually woke up earlier that morning, I think probably about four thirty, five o'clock. So come off of there. So I just went out on the balcony and then we kind of hear some noise over the marina part. So I just take my time going over there and then look through the door and then I see, actually see somebody in there. Somebody when we actually know to, I want to cook door the the road. So I will see if somebody does go back a little further and just find one nice piece of bamboo stick and just do the and wait till he come through the door one swing. Watch! And then drop his sitting there, and you see, and then, like, in, no, he never drop everything. And they have one more bag in their hand still. And in the day, and he might swing the bag off of me. And I swing the bamboo off of him. And then eventually the dog then run come to us. So then start attacking. So he just put on the bag and run gone. So yeah, that was a attempt to steal a little crooked boy. Eventually, yeah, my mother they reported to the police. I think the same morning, too. But I had to leave because, as I said, I had a school trip to go to. So let's go back to school trip. You don't know what is going on right now. Not true, ladies. All right. I guess we'll try to figure out some more. Remember some more stories for now. Until the next time, okay? Remember, like, subscribe, and watch all the commercial. Them. All the ads, them. Just watch them. Peace! Alright, hello, D. Tell us some more today. Anything else? Uh, what was there else? No, I don't think we have any much more today because uh, Nikki said it all for today and uh, I much rather give him the, okay. the stage. So guys, you <laughs> requested a Nikki, some more Nikki session. This is your more Nikki session. Um, He, you know, told most of the story today. And yeah, we're just going to leave you with that. So this will be the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching as usual. Please remember to like, comment, and share. And we will see you in our video on Sunday. Wait. It's up. Bubba. <laughs> we were chilling. Mm -hmm. Like when I said we chilling. We were chilling with crocodiles. Crocodiles. They're I mean, right in our food. Right, right. Behind us, you know. <laughs> we right were sitting on our step and the crocodile was underneath the step. Mm. So And not even paying us any mind. Yeah. And, and we had two juicy children with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even chained or anything. It could have easily yeah. do something. No yeah, but it no didn't fence, do anything, no so. chain, no Look out metal for, bars, mm, nothing. Look out for that video on Sunday. So until next time. Bye. Bye. Oh,